My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today I'll solve a question from a viewer to one of my videos. The viewer is called Neil Bangier. Neil got an Excel book with two sheets in, sheet one and sheet two. Sheet one that consists of two column, country data and country idea. In the country data column, we got names of countries, Denmark, India, USA and UK. And in the country idea, we got some corresponding ideas, one, two, three, five, like this. In the sheet two, we have the same two columns, country data and country idea. And if you have noticed the country ideas, they are missing. We want to fill that in and we want to do it to the right country. And I have mixed up the countries to make it a little bit more complicated. So UK is number one here, but it was actually number four here. So let's fill in the country idea with the use of UiPath. And thank, thank you, Neil, for the great, great question. So I will close this one down and I will head back to UiPath. First, we'll need an Excel application to go because we will need to read these two sheets into data tables so that we can do operations with them. So drag in an Excel application scope. The workbook path, well, I placed mine here on the desktop, so I'll press shift right click, copy as path and go back to UI path. Then I go down to variables and create a variable that will hold the value of the path to that sheet. str excel path, call it whatever you want. It will be of the type string and here in the value, just paste in the path of the excel sheet. We can close down variables again and up here in workbook path, we simply just put in the newly created variable that will hold the value of the path. So far, so good. Let's untick visible. We don't need visible operations. Now we need to read both sheet one and sheet two into data tables again, so we can work with them. So drag in two read ranges. We will read sheet one, but we will change this to sheet two. Sheet one is that's just default. And now we need to specify where we want to read them to. So go over here to output data table from the sheet one. Press Ctrl K, that one will create a new data table variable up here and type something in. Let's call it DT Sheet 1. And similarly, here in the second read range, we will go up here, press Ctrl K, DT Sheet 2. Like this. We can go down here in variables and we can see that we actually have created two data table variables. Like this. Now, what we need to do is that we will iterate through the sheet 2 because we will need to have the country names printed out so we can look them up in sheet 1 here. Let's just print them out for the first uh, time. So we'll find a for each row. This one will iterate through uh, rows in a data table. So we'll say for each row in, that will be the DT sheet 2 here. And let's just print out the country names. These country names we'll do a lookup with in sheet 1. But for now, just write them out. So find a right line and drag this in. So to do that, we will say row that refers to the current row in our iteration. Dot, and then we'll say item, that's column, parentheses and quotation marks. Then we will say country data because that was the name of our column. And then we will, because it's an Excel object, we'll need to put in to string like this. Now we can run the flow and this one will just print out the names to the console, but that's perfectly fine because then we can show that we can actually do this and then the lookup will be very easy. UiPath will run and now if we go down here to output in the left corner, we can see that we have the four countries nicely written out. That's from sheet two. So press output again and now we can do the whole lookup. So we can delete this right line or just let it be so we can have this expression here. So we'll delete it afterwards. And what we'll need to find here is a lookup data table. That's here. Drag it in. So to configure this, we'll need to do some settings here. But let me first talk about our new Skillshare course. It's actually our ReFramework Advanced course. We can give it to you for free for two months. Just follow the Skillshare link in the description and you will get the course for free in two months. This is a three hour long course and it will cover all settings, states and properties of the UiPath Advanced Reframework. But let's get back to the session. So we'll do the lookup. So lookup data table, the data table that we want to look up in. That was DT Sheet 
one. So put in DT sheet one. What do we want to look up? Well, we just want to look up the country name, the, 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 the country name that we just found here. So let us copy that expression. That's why we didn't delete it. Go down to lookup data table and put on, put in the lookup value here. Now we can delete the right line. We don't need it anymore. So we, we, we need to look this up. And what we'll do here is that we'll use a column name because what, where do we want to look it up? So we'll look it up in quotation marks. Remember that country data. That's the country data of DT sheet one. We'll do that. And then we'll just find out what, uh, what row index it's in. That, that will give us a number. So here we will press control K it index, or we can say it row index maybe like this. And that will create an integer. Like here. So what we do here in this lookup is just that we will search for the current uh, country data of the row for sheet two. We'll look up for that in sheet one, and then we'll get the row number, because then we can get out easily get out the uh, uh, country idea. And what we'll do here, because now we got the row number, then we'll just find an assign. We'll drag it in, still in this for each row. Remember that. And what we'll say here is we want to assign it and we want to assign it to the row item, the country idea. So we'll say row item. That one will assign something to our current row, the item. And what's, what will be the column name? Well, that was country idea. Remember, we want to put in the idea there. So that's it. And then we want to go over here to the other side because now we'll need a value to fill in. And what we'll do is that we'll say we'll look and let me maybe just click the three dots up here so it will be expanded a bit. We want to look up in DT sheet one, right? And then we will say rows. That will be the row, uh, specific row number of DT sheet one. And remember, we had our lookup, so we know the row number. And that was it. And we can press control, sorry, we can press control space up here. It row index like this. So that's the, that's the row we want to get. Then we're going to say dot and again item parentheses and then you want these quotation marks and then we'll just say country idea by the way if you want to know all about this uh, coding language i'll recommend you the book learning visual basic.net there will be a link to it in the description below but let's get this ended and then we'll need to convert it to a string like this so we'll press ok and now we have our assign what we need to do now is that we just need to write it out to our sheet two in this Excel file, because right now we only have it in the memory. It's in the data tables and a data tables memory will get deleted once a workflow is done. So we will find a right range. The right range, we will take the one from the Excel um, up here activities and drag it in. Remember to drag it in here outside the for each row. So we won't have it in here, but have it outside. And what we'll do here is that we'll say, where do we want to write to? We want to write to DT sheet two, like this. We want to start in A1. Usually I'll just delete this. It'll be the same here, but sometimes it has some awkward selection. So just delete it here. It doesn't matter. We will start in A1. We will add the headers over here. We want the headers in, and then we want to write a data table in and we will write uh, our DT sheet two. We have our updated data in that. So DT sheet two like this. Now we can run our workflow. Let me save it and run the workflow. It will take a few seconds. Like this. Now we can close this and open up the data. So let's let's expect the data. And here we can see that we have that sheet one that is fine, and sheet two that got updated. So now UK is five. Was that true? Yep. USA was three. Was that true? Yep. And so on. So that's it. Now, if you want to continue, I'll recommend you the playlist on the left. That's my beginners course. Or you can do some more advanced stuff to take the reframework advanced guide to the right. Either way, have a good day. Bye bye.